It's September 15, 2022, 5.57 p.m., episode 1,821. Um, all day yesterday, I just could not get an idea for on anything, and I was thinking about, about four different subjects, and when I was laying in bed, I went to bed like at 5 a.m., I, I couldn't go to sleep, and um, so I woke up at 9, and this idea while I was laying in bed hit me, and two other ideas hit me as well. One of them I sent to CNN and they loved it, but it wasn't the subject they wanted to do. And but I thought it was funny as well. But I thought this one was better, <laughs> but I didn't see CNN. Sorry, guys. Uh, I wanted to get this one out today. I, I want to because I actually thought after I thought of it, and despite thinking I I couldn't think of any ideas yesterday, and then I think of this, I still thought maybe it was it might be obvious, but uh, maybe it wasn't because I hadn't seen it or anything. So I was like, let me just go ahead with this in. And I also thought maybe this is kind of stupid, maybe it doesn't really make sense, but everybody has loved it so far. So at least that I've talked to. And trust me, I talked to enough people that go, eh. So, uh, but Mike Lindell, uh, he was the, the FBI, served him uh, a grand jury warrant and took his cell phone. They had a warrant for that. And they served it to him while he's in the drive thru at a Hardee's in Minnesota. Now, Republicans and Mike Lindell, a bunch of others, they just scream, like, this is so unfair. This is like fascism. How? How? This is exactly how our, our legal system works. Uh, and this does not mean Mike Lindell is being investigated, uh, but he's part of a case that's being investigated. Maybe he is being investigated. You don't know. But he definitely has had a lot of contacts with a person who's already pled guilty to some weird manipulative crap with letting people, any goons walk in and, and handle uh, like ballots and election equipment and stuff like that in, in Mesa County, Colorado. He has contacts with this person and he's a lot. So let me go to these comments and thank these people for their condolences, Robert Cortino and Rick S for the passing of my big brother. I posted yesterday that he had passed on Twitter and um, Facebook and I got like a lot, a lot of comments on Facebook. Like I think that I'm over like 400, but on Twitter it's amazing. I'm approaching 35,000. Guys, 3,500, sorry. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I can't count.